Hey YouTube, today we're going to be talking about your friendly neighborhood house geckos found here all over South Florida. Stay tuned. So house gecko species like the common house gecko, Mediterranean house gecko, tropical house geckos, and many, many others are really hard to tell apart sometimes. And they're known as echomorphs, meaning they've developed a lot of the similar morphology uh, being in the same area, but are not originally the same species. So we have several types of house geckos from different places all right here in South Florida and you're not always going to be able to know exactly which one but you can bet you have some sort of house gecko. Now what I have here is actually a few little eggs that I found working out in the yard and I decided let's give it a shot and uh, put them in here and see if eventually they go ahead and hatch. And sure enough, it's been about a month, and uh, two of them finally hatched. So these little guys you see here are two little house gecko hatchlings. Um, now, uh, obviously, this is an oviparous species. Um, and these females can lay about two eggs at a time. These guys are found in all tropical regions of the world. Uh, it's really common for them to migrate by transporting themselves on chunks of junk that float from island to island or landmass to landmass. Now these little critters are nocturnal, of course, meaning they are more active at night. Um, one of the amazing things they have developed are vertical pupils. And that's just one of the things that they have as an evolutionary advantage in the dark and to be able to hunt their prey in the dark. Um, but one of the things that they have also evolved to do is stay near light due to the high concentration of insects and spiders that tend to be attracted to the lights and stick around the lights. So the geckos have figured out that if they stay close to the lights, they are near a higher concentration of insects and readily available food. That is all the fun facts we have for today, but as always, I hope you like and subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to write them in the comment section below. Have a great one, folks.